right, what's up, everybody? This Bobby Piazza thing has gotten out of control. Feld and AMA, what they're doing is despicable. I couldn't be more mad. The fact they've suspended Bobby Piazza from the New Jersey round. This weekend, Bobby Piazza, the privateer who did nothing wrong, according to their rules, except for conduct detrimental to the sport, which you can't even define. They had to go back, research the rules to find something that they could blanket penalize him because they're pissed that he's standing up for himself. But before we get into all this, remember guys, thank my friends at EBC Brakes, uh, brake pads, rotors, clutches, EBC kicks ass. They stand by the Cooksey podcast, and I appreciate those guys. James, Steve, they're all badasses. Uh, Complete Racing solution, Solutions. You guys know Coach Rob. Coach Rob is probably the smartest man in this industry when it comes to physical fitness. He also stands up for privateers and helps out anyone who pretty much wants, any, any of those privateers that need help, coach jumps at the opportunity to just throw, throw something their way. Good dude, support him. Uh, his programs start at $22 and go up from there. He's got programs for everybody. Um, and then Epic Garage Designs, check out the studio. Uh, that's where I'm at today. Floors, uh, slat wall, you name it. Any sort of garage solution you need to make it more, look more organized, if you're building a home gym, whatever. Uh, Check out Epic Garage Designs. And if you're buying a house, renting a house, or selling a house in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, or Henderson, Nevada, hit up my friend Leanne Nestor, new show sponsor. Show her some love. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there, guys. So let's jump into this. You need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers and say, that's the bad guy. All right, guys. So as if it wasn't bad enough that Feld had a what appears to be a roided out, angry security guard, tell Bobby Piazza he's not allowed to let fans rev his bike for whatever the reason. They didn't have a reason during the day. They had to go back, they had to research it, they had to figure out what the reason was. The reasons they came up with were safety. What if somebody pops it into gear? Okay, no problem. But these things weren't brought to, to the, like I've talked to people all around the situation. Um, I've talked to people who are involved. I've talked to people who are there. Uh, listen, I've been on the phone for way too long talking about uh, this bike rev situation. This is not a bike rev issue. This is not. It has, it, guys, if you, if you think it's about the bike rev, you're wrong. It's about a privateer, Bobby Piazza, doing his thing, and it stepped on the toes. He got too big. It worked too good. Watch, I would be willing to bet any amount of money at some point in the near future, Feld has a bike rev station for fans. I promise you, this is coming. Uh, it's a good idea. They've seen that it works. But instead of you know crediting Bobby or doing anything for Bobby, they're just going to shut him down like he's doing something wrong because they don't like that the way it looks. Um, and then they so he shuts his, shuts it down, brings the bike back to the pits. The Feld employee or security guard comes over. It was supposed to have an explanation of why. Keep in mind, Bobby shut this down for no, like, he asked why, because they asked him to shut it down. He said, sure, can I ask why? That's it. I think that's a reasonable question. If a guy's making money doing something, I think it's 100% reasonable to be able, if I can't do it, well, why? Is there a rule? Is there, am I, did I make somebody wrong, mad? There was none of that brought up. No other riders complained. They never said that. They never said other riders complained. They never said it's too noisy. They said you can't take donations. What? Well, isn't that what sponsorship is? Just essentially donations? Because uh, let's be real, a lot of those privateers that have these big sponsorships, those sponsorships aren't getting a return on investment. They're not getting enough business out of it. Those are donation sponsorships. Those are those are uh, ego sponsorships and friend sponsorships just to help somebody out, help somebody live the dream because a lot of us really love what these privateers are going through. And now you're trying to tell Bobby Piazza he can't accept donations? Are you kidding me? They got to the point where they were literally, literally talking about semantics that me as a fan, I can't walk up and hand Bobby 20 bucks. He's got to decline, which is what? Don't tell me what to do with my money. I, I, I don't work for Feld. I pay for a ticket to Supercross. I pay for uh, snacks, whatever I get. And now you're telling me I can't give money to help support my favorite rider because Feld's too cheap to pay him. That's, that's 
ludicrous to me. That's ludicrous. I don't understand how. Uh, and then they said, well, if, if money's thrown on the ground, you can pick it up. Um, but then the security guard goes, well, you better, be, better, better beat me to the money. I'm like, oh, my gosh. <sighs> I even had a Hollywood producer chime in on my last video. Um, and he said, it's despicable that Feld, um, and they're, they're, they have a bad reputation in the industry as circus, uh, what, I forget what he called them, circus clowns or circus, uh, I don't know. But they don't have a very good reputation as far as the way they treat their people. You want to Google Feld and Google all the circus lawsuits, the animal cruelties, the Kenneth Feld uh, hiring people to bully uh, reporters. There's a long history of this type of behavior. So this security guard coming over here and acting like this, he should be the one getting suspended. Yet they're going to have his back and suspend Bobby Piazza? What? That does not make sense unless the people up top uh, are well aware of this behavior and possibly encourage this behavior. And this is how they rule the roost, by fear. Keep these privateers afraid. If they can keep them afraid that they cannot go racing, if you challenge even a little bit of this machine, you're kicked out. We, we're taking our ball and we're going home. And that's exactly what they're doing to Bobby. They don't have a real reason. They're pissed about his video because Bobby stood up for himself. Bobby was in the right. Keep in mind, the security guard might have bigger issues. He's been stalking, walking around, following Bobby's girlfriend. So there's probably a bigger issue here with that guy. And apparently, it, listen, I'm not a big Me Too or sexual harassment, but it sounds like this guy's got some real problems um, with Bobby and his girlfriend. And I think that's where we might be able to find a little bit of this animosity towards Bobby. But what's scary is the fact that the people at Feld don't recognize that or encourage that and allow this guy to just get away with this kind of behavior. I was going to let this go after, after my video yesterday. I cannot believe. Oh, by the way, Feld doesn't even, they talk about growing the sport. They, you want this kind of publicity out there. You know how you get rid of this publicity? Get rid of the security guard and tell Bobby sorry and move on. And we all move on and nobody talks about it. You know what you don't do? You don't suspend the guy in the right. You don't suspend Bobby Piazza from the race and put him on probation for a, an imaginary problem that you came up with afterward. That's, that's complete garbage. I, I don't understand why we can keep, we keep letting him get away with stuff. They put lime in the dirt, trashed everyone's bikes. They made some sort of half-hearted apology. We never hear anything from it. They owe these guys thousands of dollars in destroyed equipment, injuries. How did that not go anywhere? Um, I, I don't understand why they keep getting away with this stuff. They must have really good lawyers on the back end or they're just, their bully tactics and their, they've just intimidated people to the point where nobody will challenge them. It's time. I don't know what exactly we do, but we need to do something. We can't let this keep sliding. This is complete, it, it's garbage. It kills me. Like support Arena Cross, support World Supercross. Any chance we get, Get off this hamster wheel with these horrible, horrible circus people. They are awful. And what scares me is they fit in perfectly with the outdoor nationals. So that tells you what kind of people they are. They all love each other because they're all a bunch of pieces of crap. And they don't care about this sport. They care about milking their own dollars out of this sport. So, all right, guys. Uh, if you see that security guard, tell him to, tell him to pound sand. Um, and if you guys... If you, and I, I crack up too, you know, they say, oh, we give these guys a platform, blah, blah, blah. No, you don't, because you just take their platform away. You, you, you give a guy a platform, he says what he wants, and you suspend him for it. So you don't control these people like you think you do. Um, it's insanity. And, and the fact that they don't even pay these guys. They make these guys pay, and they treat them like crap. It's disgusting. Um, and I, like I said, I don't know exactly what we do, but this is, this is beyond disgusting to me. Um, think about this. In 1983, at the Rose Bowl, David Bailey won the Supercross Championship and got $200,000 in 1983. The winner of the race, Brock Glover, got $30,000 for winning the race in 1983. They get like $12,000 this now. It, it, it's disgusting. Um, and with you know the inflation we've had, literally, it, it would be like paying 
probably 50 bucks back in the day. Um, anyway, it, it's disgusting. I'm beyond pissed over this. I can't believe that the other media outlets haven't jumped on and aren't feeling the same rage I am, but they're all parts of the wheel. If you haven't noticed, Racer X is owned by the Coombs family that owns Outdoor Motocross, who's in bed with Feld. If anyone on that program steps out of line, they're in trouble. Um, Vital MX, they're probably the most freelance you could get, but they're still part of that wheel. They, they play along. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's ugly, and I'm disappointed that other people aren't speaking out for this injustice, because it is a huge injustice to a guy trying to live his dream with him and his girlfriend living in a van, traveling the world, racing for peanuts. And I say that as a, as a pun to the circus. He's literally racing for peanuts. Uh, he finds a way to make a living, and now they take it from him. It's bullshit. It's bullshit, guys. So anyway, that's it for now. Uh, I don't know. If you got any suggestions, let me know.